Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for everything business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Marcos Mora on the line, and he's co-founder over at Amada Senior Care. Marcos, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much, Adam. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so um, let's just jump right in. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Amada Senior Care and what you're doing. Yeah, so Amada Senior Care is a home care company. We provide caregivers to seniors in their homes, and we do all non-medical care, meaning dressing, bathing, walking, meal preparation, companionship, whatever it is that senior needs in order to thrive at home. Uh, we've been in business since uh, 2007 here in Orange County, but we started franchising in 2012. Um, and that was, that was where, you know, our company really exploded. We're in about 130 markets throughout the United States now and uh, owned by amazing entrepreneurs. Uh, last year we did about $97 million in gross revenues. We're thinking that this year we'll definitely break the $100 million. We're, we're projecting about $127 million. So uh, it's been an amazing journey. Man, that is amazing. I love to hear these uh, these stories of, of of people scaling their business and and it really taking off. Um, so what, let's talk a little bit more about the franchises and the franchise model and why you why you went that route. Yeah, so it was very accidental. Most franchises actually start accidentally. So we had a friend mm. of ours, Robert Christensen, who was a Pfizer pharmaceutical rep for about 13 years. He called and he said, hey, guys, I'm finally getting my severance. I'm getting fired. You know, most people are not excited mm. to get fired, but Rob was <laughs> He <super> was excited. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting out of here. And he said, hey, I'm going to take my severance. It was over like 100 grand, you know, and said, so I'm going to take yeah. my severance. I want to become the first franchisee of a modest wow. senior care. And we said, no. Like, no, we don't, we don't franchise, Rob. Like, that's not our thing. You, we could help you find a great franchise, but we don't franchise. And Rob was like, no, you don't understand. Like, that's my plan. That's what I'm doing. I booked my flights. I'm coming out there. I'm going to learn everything about the business. I'm going to franchise it here in Washington. And we're like, we're like, Rob, we don't even know if it will work in Washington. Wow. And, and Rob's like, no, it will. I promise it will. So, we're fighting this guy. We're like, no. And he's like, yes. So <laughs> crazy, right? He comes to the office, and Rob is he, Rob is is an amazing, amazing entrepreneur. He's one of these guys that you just love automatically. Uh, you connect with him, uh, Robert Christensen in Tacoma, Washington, on LinkedIn. Just an amazing entrepreneur. But I remember that he's in our office and he's grabbing pamphlets. And my partner Toff uh, played in the NFL. He's six foot six, half black, half Samoan, very intimidating guy, but he's a teddy bear. But he's like grabbing my other partner and I. He's going, dude, get this guy out of my office. Like, this guy's going to steal our information. Who is he? Like, we're not franchising. But Rob won us all over. And in March of 2012, he signs the first franchise agreement of Amada Senior Care. Uh, and he opens his business in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, in his in his uh, first year, he does something like 800 grand in revenues. His second year, he does 1.2 million. Like he just exploded, and that's how we started. Wow, absolutely amazing. Um, let's talk about the uh, the uh, the opportunity itself. So, what are the right? What kind of entrepreneur? Because a lot of entrepreneurs that listen to this, um, and then there's possibly yeah. some people that are that are getting some sevens checks that are in similar things. They're like, wait a minute, and they just turned up the volume a little bit. <laughs> um, what what's the right yeah. type of fit to be a to be a franchisee um, for um, for a modest senior care? What do you typically look for? Yeah. Okay. This is a great question. So, uh, what what we decided, and this is going to be great for some of you and not so great for some of you if you're interested in our business. So Robert was a pharmaceutical rep, and so we sat down with Rob, and we said, Rob, okay, crazy question, but is it possible that there's more pharmaceutical reps out in the country who are like you, who are somewhat frustrated with their lives um, that would want to acquire an amount of senior care franchise? And Rob was like, yes, Absolutely. Rob said, hey, 
We have changing commission structures. We've got all this regulatory stuff that's coming down the line. I can't even give a pen anymore to a doctor. My neighbors think I'm, I'm a drug dealer. So he had all these pain points, and he said, absolutely. If you go after other pharmaceutical folks, and he went above that. He goes, medical device folks, biotech folks, all these people who are selling healthcare would be an ideal audience. So we took a risk. We said, huh, I wonder if we took our franchise, which is nothing right now. We have one franchise partner. We were very successful in Orange County, California. But we thought, what if we took this model and we introduced it to all these folks from Pfizer, Merck, Stryker, Abbott, Medtronic, and invited them to become franchisees. Now, it worked. So out of our wow. 130 locations, yeah, about 80% of them are owned by former pharmaceutical and medical device salespeople. It's been amazing. Like, we took a chance, and uh, we're so, so happy that we did. Now, there's about 20% of our entrepreneurs that come from all walks of life. In fact, uh, one of our top uh, entrepreneurs who has a, uh, a modest senior care in Colorado Springs, Colorado, who did $6.1 million in gross revenues in 2018. He was a stockbroker before he opened mm -hmm. in a modest senior care. So not a requirement, but that's the audience we went after. So to, to your question, Adam, it basically comes down to if you're really good at building relationships of trust, you eat glass for breakfast because it's a really tough business, uh, and you love building uh, these relationships with other professionals, B2B, then this could be the right business for, for that type of entrepreneur. And uh, well, let's talk a little bit more about the types of services. So what, what type of services does uh, Amada Senior Care uh, provide to, to, the, um, to its patients or clients? Yeah. So they are clients because we're all non-medical, so you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very, guys, it's so interesting because it's, it's very simple. Um, the one thing we are all going to need before we die most likely is care. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's happening is, is, is we've been able to uh, make our bodies live longer, but we haven't quite figured out how to make our brains live longer. And so dementia is such a problem now. and People are living so long that they end up needing care at the end of life. And so our clients are usually 80 plus, 80, 90, 100 years old. And we're seeing that age go higher and higher. We started the business in 2007, started taking care of the greatest generation. We're not even yet taking care of baby boomers, right? Baby boomers are, are still going, right? They're doing great, but they're, they're the next segment that's coming. And in the home, it's very simple. Everybody ends up needing this. They need help dressing themselves. They need help cooking a meal. Uh, they need help just driving to a, a physician's appointment, companionship. So we're not doing wound care therapy, shots, anything medical. In fact, 0% of our $97 million we did last year came from Medicare or Medicaid. Uh, we, we're not a health care, really, organization in the sense of providing medical services. It's all non-medical, which is really, when you think about it, what you need on a daily basis in order to thrive in your home still. Man, that's awesome. I love it. It's a great story, Marcos. Um, I love the service you're doing. You're right. We're all going to need it some, at some point. So, um, so Marcos, if somebody's listening to this and, uh, and they want more information on Amada Senior Care, uh, either as, as you know, uh, looking at the franchise opportunity or they just want to check it out because they either need the service or want to refer the service um, to, their, um, to their loved ones, what's the best way for them to reach out and to get info? Just go to AmataSeniorCare.com. That's the best way. And if you want to connect with me, uh, LinkedIn is where I live. Go to Marcos Mora on LinkedIn. You're going to find about 100 Brazilians with that name. I'm, I'm Brazilian. It's a very common name. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you triangulate Amata Senior Care, you'll find me there. I'd love to connect with you there. And if I can help anyone listening to this in any way, always, always, please feel free to send me an in-mail message. Love to connect. Well, hey, Marcos, I uh, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and the amazing rise of Amada Senior Care. I have no doubt this thing is just going to continue to explode. I'll bring you back in 2021. You're going to be like, we're now in uh, not 130, we're in 230. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I don't know how many markets, how many markets are there? I don't know, but oh, look out. Amada, Amada Senior Care is coming. That's all I have to say. I love it. Uh, love what you guys are doing, man. From your lips to God's ears.
I mean, that, I love that, what would, you guys be, are doing. that would be amazing. Um, so awesome stuff there. Uh, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you had a lot of fun listening to this. We had a lot of fun making this for you. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, give that a subscribe, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to hear your thought process and uh, what you're up to and what you're working on. And Marcos, thanks again for coming on the show.